हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2017 एग्जाम दे हैव गिवन यू दिस डायग्राम एंड आल्सो दे आर सेइंग दैट q1 एंड q नॉट्स करंट वैल्यू इज 1 1 वी नीड टू डिटरमाइन व्हाट विल बी द स्टेट ऑफ दिस काउंटर आफ्टर गिविंग थर्ड क्लॉक साइकिल एज़ वेल एज़ आफ्टर गिविंग फोर्थ क्लॉक साइकिल नाउ इफ यू रिमेंबर वी हैव सॉल्वड अ सिमिलर क्वेश्चन इट वाज फ्रॉम गेट 2015 एग्जाम the beginning of the question was something like this a positive edge triggered d flip flop and so on okay so in that question we used 1d and 1jk but the thing is that jk flip flop was acting as a t flip flop only so the diagram was almost similar just this d was placed on this side and t was placed on this side but that doesn't actually matter because output of one flip flop is given to the other okay so both of these questions are similar anyways let's see if current state is 1 1 what will happen after giving the first clock okay so we if give if we give the first clock then whatever is this output q1 will shift here because this is a d flip flop it is the property of d flip flop that whatever is input will move here so q1 will be copied as it is here now see this is high okay that means input t is high whenever t is high we will toggle this current state okay current state of q1 is 1 upon toggling it will become 0 like this now see upon giving second clock whatever is this q1 it will shift here that means 0 will come here see currently we are in state 0 1 okay it is 0 1 now this 0 will shift here because this is 1 this q1 will again toggle so it will become 1 0 like this okay after giving third clock now the values are 1 0 this one will shift here so i'm writing 1 this is 0 that means this t will not toggle whatever is the current value will remain as it is like this okay so you can see starting from 1 1 next state is 0 1 then 1 0 then we came back to 1 1 only okay so after this next state is this one so your answer is after giving third clock cycle the state is 1 1 and after giving fourth clock cycle the state will be 0 1 see once you reach here it will start from 1 1 again so if you begin from this state after giving first clock you reach here after giving second clock you reach here and after giving third clock you will reach here so this is what happens after third clock and this is what happens after fourth clock so 1 1 and 0 1 are your answers now still let's fill this table see if current state is 0 0 both of them are 0 this zero will shift here that means this zero will shift here okay and this zero says don't toggle it so this one will not be toggled actually this entire column of q1 will shift in q0 so 0011 0011 1, 1. okay and whenever q0 is 1 whenever this value is 1 we have to toggle q1 it is 1 here so toggle this one it is one here so toggle this one also q not is zero here so we don't need to toggle just keep this one as it is from here you can see the counting sequence is like this okay state zero has a self loop if you are currently on state zero you will remain here only if you are on state 1 you will go to 2 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 3 and 3 goes back to 1 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 3 and 3 goes back to 1 okay so this is the sequence diagram state sequence diagram or counting sequence diagram and this is your answer okay.